podcast. And today we're going to talk about a wonderful program that's helping take care of Mississippi's public school students. And it's through UMMC's telehealth program. And joining us is Miss Astria Goolsby to tell us more. Welcome, Astria. Thank you for having me. I'm sorry me. I made you go after Tina Turner. <laughs> I know, but I mean, everyone's watching now, right? <laughs> yeah, this is true. Yeah. This is a, and this is a good thing and a good time because there's so many students at home and uh, there's parents and grandparents may be wondering, huh, I wonder what this is all about. So walk us through this program. How does it work? What is it looking um, specifically to who are they looking specifically to help? Well, the summer program specifically right now, I think this is the part that's going to benefit most of Mississippi public school students. We have telehealth services, urgent care and minor medical care. It's free to all public school students in Mississippi for the months of June and July. So, I mean, it's like, it's, I feel like that commercial yeah. free, like free, free, like, like free, 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 free. free. <laughs> like, like free, free. So, I, and I even asked that in the meetings. I'm like, so what do you mean by free? And I'm like, you call the number, <laughs> you make your appointment and you see your specialist, your provider, whether it's for a rash, it's for asthma um, and the behavioral health piece. I think that is the part that really struck my interest to say, oh my gosh, we really need this. We're talking about difficulties with you know students and how they're feeling at home during the summer Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe they're not around their friends and they're feeling some kind of way you know as teens we go through those phases you have um, we have silver cloud where they can have a mental health specialist Um, just any kind I mean just to be able to help with those behavioral health you know, aspects. I think right now, like trying to wrap your brain around around that, because I feel mm-hmm. like parents like, OK, so if they were to you think they're getting sick and you can't get them to the doctor, you could utilize that at that point, which I guess you could do that, too. But this is mm-hmm. also, you know, maybe you do. And since it's all Mississippi public school, is it from, I know, K, K through 12th graders or is it just your teenage sort of years? Yes, pre-K through 12th. And so when you make the appointment, you just let them know what school your child attends. And that's that's all that we require, you know. It's that so simple. Wh- h- how is this po- this program possible? It is possible through the Mississippi Department of Education, and so this is a collaboration with the telehealth department with the University of Mississippi Medical Center and the education department. And what they did was they funded us to be able to go into schools who who are interested to be able to set up this telehealth service within schools. So the idea is to increase the access to health care in schools for those parents. And it might not be for everyone, right? Some parents like to be more hands-on when it comes to their child's health. But those parents that it's a struggle to get off of work when your child has a rash or when they're experiencing anxiety, you really don't know where to take them and they don't feel like going to school and you're wondering what's going on. It helps us alleviate that off of them. And so we train school nurses to be able to assess and recognize when these services are needed. They reach out to the parent and say, hey, you know, we need we think your child needs to see a provider for X, Y and Z. And if the parent says, I can't, you know, I want my child to see a provider, but I can't right now. I have work. I can't take off any more days or, you know, this is this is something that it need, I need assistance. Single parents, especially um, the nurse is able to say, well, would you like for them to see a provider over telehealth? And they can always send the charge to your local provider. I mean, it, we don't we're not saying that you have to stick with only telehealth services, but it's just a way of making sure that child gets to the doctor and sees someone immediately. Bridges the gap. It bridges the gap. Right. It increases like, the access to, to health care. <laughs> right. Like, and, you know, and I think one of the coolest things about Mississippi that some know and then others are learning or catching up to, and I think particularly during the, the pandemic, the big P word, um, was that we are excelling in telehealth. We were excelling in setting the sort of stage for telehealth prior to 2020, but really got to sh- sort of show all that work during that time when people had to switch immediately, right, or pivot. Mm-hmm. That's the other P word no one wants to hear anymore, <laughs> pandemic and pivot. But, um, <laughs> um, but how is Mississippi sort of set up in that telehealth department as being like leaders, not just in our state, but also, you know, um, in the nation for telehealth care? I think this program is a perfect example of how we are leaders in the space of telehealth with going into the schools. We currently have 60, I'm sorry, 71 school districts. We just had two more school districts to add on 
71 school districts that are offering telehealth services in the schools. That's the largest tel- school-based telehealth program in the nation, in the nation. And I think that with everything that goes on in Jackson and Mississippi, we talk about, I think that's something that we really need to grasp a hold of. And and I like to speak of it as almost a movement to show them that we are ahead because telehealth is something that is coming Um, It's here. It's here. It is here. The big P word showed us that (laughs) it has its place and it is useful and it's not going away. And so I just I really I offer to come out and help spread the word because we need the utilization. We need you guys to see. And I think this summer program with it being free with every public school student in Mississippi. I just I I just I have to slow down and say it. Every student who goes to public schools. Yes. Then you can have access to this. And and you round back to that mental health piece, because right Mm -hmm. now there are parents, grandparents or caregivers listening who may have a middle schooler or a high school who's struggling, anxiety, depression, or just moody, Mm -hmm. um, or know that maybe they've gone through something and they don't have the funds or the know-how ability to set up like an official therapy appointment Mm -hmm. or whatever it may be. It sounds like this could be a great first step that costs nothing, low risk, no strings attached, and then just get a get a handle on how your teen or or middle schooler responds and then that provider will be able to tell you next steps if needed. Yes. And you know, and just for personally, I have a 20 year old brother, right? Who was like during the big P word was like, I need some help. Of course we have to help. And so one of his issues was a mental health issue. And it was very interesting to me with him talking about how he just wasn't sure about reaching out. And so I just think this is so great because, you know, you have all of those different ways of seeing a mental health specialist, but these are people who are right here in Mississippi. And it's a great transition into getting that help for free. You don't have to go. The other problem is what company, what app do I use? What, what, what do I go? How do I start? How do I know? But here you just, you, you call in, you make an appointment, you see where you should go and they can help direct you with further care if that's what's needed. But I think it's the easiest, simplest, most beneficial way to access mental health um, services for public school students. And again, it was my brother was the one who said he thinks that he needs some mental health. Kudos you know, to him service. for having that courage. Yeah. So what is the number? Or where do we go? We go to, so you can go to school telehealth. Yeah, schools telehealth at umc.edu. Um, but we have a phone number you can call. Very simple. It's 601-815-2020. Just call that number. Make your appointment. And again, that number is 601-815-2020. When it comes to telehealth and some being weary of seeing their doctor um, on the screen and not having, you know, what is the what is it showing us that it's got the same kind of, I guess, efficacy, maybe the right word, big word, but I said it wrong. So it lines up the same, like you're still getting good care, even if you're seeing them on a screen. I'm so glad you said that because we we started, we launched this this, um, this past school year. And so one of the things that we found is some parents don't quite understand, and that's what they think, that you're just seeing someone on the screen. Now, this summer is not as... Um, intensive as it is in the schools. In the schools, we actually have the telehealth equipment set up in the schools where the um, stethoscope is connected to the telehealth equipment. So you can actually hear your heartbeat. They can see things, you know, so it's it's not as it's not so like screening face to face in the schools. Now, as far as um, during the summer, it is more basically of an assessment and being able to see and letting you know whether you need to go into a professional. But a lot of times we go to the doctor and we sit there for hours for them to mm-hmm. say, right, <laughs> that you didn't really have to come in. You could have done this over telehealth. telehealth. Yeah. And so you took off a whole day of work. Right. And so and with that, you can see the doctor um, smartphone, desktop, tablet whatever is convenient for you and just talk to your provider and let them guide you as to what the next steps are Te- technically not technically um, typically they can just text you a link to and you just click it it's not mm-hmm. apps and websites and sort of all that it's super simple and convenient I love that okay Astra so it is every public school student in Mississippi from K through high school can get free medical care through telehealth care this summer and what's the number the number is 
815-215-2020. All right. You have no excuses. None. None. Thank you so much for your time. And you guys stick with us. We got more for you coming up next. Thank you.